All right, so today we're going to be going over an iPhone 6 that is dead, and I want to see if you can tell me why that is. So I've taken off a few of the shields here. Now, one of the first things I want to tell you, just in case any of you are dumb like me and think that this is a shield, let's look at this under the microscope. So you see how there's a... Uh, this is the phone. That's a shield. Over here, there used to be a shield. I've re we've removed that so that the ultrasonic cleaner can get to it. Over here, there's a shield. Over here, you'd think there's a shield because these shields have black tape. So see how... Th yeah, it's fine. So see how this shield here has black tape on it? You'd think that this black tape is a shield, and if you're idiot a dumb like me, you may start heating it. And you'll look under it, and there's no shield. It's just a cover that goes over. But there's no corrosion here. So let's see if you can tell me what is wrong with this. See if the viewers can guess. I'm just going to scroll through. Clean, 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 clean. All right, a little dirty. A little bit of junk, but that's on the underfill, so we don't have to really care about this very much, but we'll keep that in mind if something doesn't work in that area. That's the, ca the front camera, I think, so not, not incredibly important at the moment since it's dead. Now we go over the ba bottom of it. Clean, 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 clean. Clean, what the? F yeah, well, let's see, this, everything looks clean on here. And then you look at this and it's like, what the hell is this? I mean, it's like a big middle finger right in the middle of the phone. And this follows the same rule that I've been talking about in the other ones where you follow the path of the fan with the MacBooks where you have the, the um, liquid is going to come in through the fan and it shoots itself in a little pattern right like this and it always hits the SMC. Here in the phone, the water is going to enter through a specific and predictable pattern each time based on... Where the, uh, where the holes are in it, and it's always going to get somewhere near the edge. And over here, I mean, again, for those of you who watch the channel, you realize that I fix phones like once a month, and this, I mean, you don't need to be a genius to see this. Look at this. Disgusting. So let's take a look on the schematic and see what that thing is for. Okay. Now, of course, this is the one thing that sucks is the iPhone schematics are not searchable. But for some reason, this one is. I think I may have gotten one of the only ones that actually works. So when you look around this board view thing, you can see that this is C5202 underscore RF. So I type this in. I don't know why this is searchable. One of the big reasons I can't stand doing the iPhone boards is because they're not searchable. For some reason, this one is. They must have made a mistake and made it easy. So that's a capacitor to ground, bypass capacitor to ground on VCC main, which I'm guessing that's kind of like PP bus G3 hot on a MacBook. It's the main rail for the board. And I'm going to take a wild, wild guess that that's probably shorting it to ground. So we're going to try removing that and see if we get rid of our short. So let me just show you here what the measurement is before and after we get rid of the short to ground. Because this is most likely, even if we clean it, the phone's still not going to work, even if we put it to the cleaner without fixing this thing. So let's get the multimeter in view. So I'm going to put this in diode mode here to check and see if we have a short to ground. Now, the one thing that sucks is I don't know which end of the cap is ground, but common sense, you know, we'll be able to figure that out. So... I'm going to take one end here and put, put it on ground, and the other end and put it on VCC main, and I get zero. Now when I go on the other side of it, I also get something closer to zero. So let's take that cap off. Um, this is going to be a bit tricky because it's right next to something that I probably shouldn't be heating. But we're going... Okay. This is also why it's good to get it while the phone is, st is still uh, has not had time to dry out or just have the battery plugged in too long because the battery, the VCC main comes from the battery. So if that if VCC main was stuck on for a long time, then this this entire phone would be just a, a steaming pile of shit. But this is pretty recent, so the so the first thing to do here is take some Captain tape. And I'm going to put some Captain tape and a shield over, the com over what is right next to the capacitor because I don't want to heat the chip next to the capacitor at all. That's not going to be good. So I'm going to put a piece of Captain tape over here. Mm. Now that, that Captain tape's not, re not really going to do shit, so I'm going to put a shield on top of the Captain tape.
This is where having soldering tweezers would come in handy, but I don't do this often enough to spend 300 bucks on them. Okay. Funny. It's like the one part of the phone that's not covered in underfill is the one part that just explodes completely. Okay, so that's a... I'm going to put a little flux there, and by a little I mean excessive as always, and make it a little easier to remove it. Preheat from far away. My tweezers look a little nastier than usual. I didn't even need to heat. No heating necessary. It just came right off. So let's see if the short circuit is still there. So it was 0 0.000 before, and now it's going up to 0 0.287. That sounds good for me. All right, so now let's see if we can get another 10 microfarad. 0402 cap in there with the world's largest inappropriate for cell phone soldering iron. No luck with this one. Let's switch to a small. This is what makes working on the iPhone suck too. You see how there's this brownish crap that's falling out from everywhere? It's called underfill. It's just miserable. It's miserable, disgusting shit. Okay, now let's find a 10 microfarad capacitor on a donor board. All right, so here I'm just going to steal C7099 from a MacBook Air motherboard. As you can see, this is 10 microfarad and rated up to 10 volts, all I, and it's a 0402 package. All I needed was 10 microfarad and a 0402 package up to 6.3 volts. So this one being a 10 volt may be less likely to explode if this thing ever winds up in the rate again than the original shit that Apple put on there. So let's see. This is pretty funny. This is kind of a troll. As you can see, it's actually covered in underfill on a MacBook board, which, which almost never happens. So watch, check this. See this? This has got to be a troll. This is... See that? Nothing is ever an underfill on these boards. But that is. 
So, it's almost as if they knew what I would be doing today. Okay, so let's try and scrape this stuff off. Boom. Take the cap. Remember, these boards have a higher thermal mass than the iPhone board, so it's going to take a lot more for anything to come off at the same temperature. Okay, now we go back to our iPhone board. I have to raise the microscope a little for that. Okay, so we're going to take that capacitor. And this is where the fun begins. Let's. Hmm. Schematic says 0402, but I don't believe it. <laughs> that's no way in hell that's 0402. That's probably 0603. Okay, let's try again. Let's grab one from right under. What a friggin' mess. Maybe that is the right size and it just doesn't fit at the moment. Yeah, let's grab something that's more likely to actually fit. You're a 10 microfarad, and you're small. So, do this. The world's worst tweezers.
It looks like shit, but what are you going to do? So let's put it in the cleaner and see what happens when it comes out. All right, so we're going to plug this in after it comes out of the cleaner. And as you can see, or barely see, it's giving me the low battery screen here, which means we're good. So let's just take a look and see what that area looks like after the ultrasonic was done. Not exactly the prettiest looking thing in the world, but it works. I hate underfill. And that's that.